Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you a great feature that allows you to add your clips in a variety of different ways. And this is a feature that's fairly hidden, especially if you're brand new to DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you how this works. And so whenever you want to add a new clip to your project timeline, the easiest way to do that is you just drag it down and now we have our clip. But say for example, you wanted to do something like add a clip in the middle of this clip. So one way you could do that is you could simply do a cut wherever you want it, where this playhead is at. And then you would simply drag down your other clip right here. So that's one way you could do that. Or if you actually wanted to overwrite what's actually there, uh, you could actually drag it down here and it will just go directly over that. But at the same time, it's going to cut off a portion of the original clip. Or even if you just want to put a clip at the end, you know, all of this has to be done manually. So that is a slow process. However, DaVinci does provide you some shortcuts to do some of these things right up here. There's an insert clip, overwrite clip, and replace clip. However, there's more features available that you don't see here. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So we remove that. And now we want to add a clip. Before you bring it down to your project timeline, move it over to the right and you see all these additional features. There's insert, overwrite, replace, fit to fill, place on top, append at end, and ripple overwrite. So I'm going to go over each one of these. So the first one is insert. So it simply inserts a clip. So if there's nothing else here, that's where it's going to put that at the beginning. But if you use it again, it'll put it in wherever your playhead is at. So say, for example, I want to add this clip and I go to insert. Now it's right here where I have my playhead. And the thing is, it's going to split your clip wherever this new clip is. And so you don't lose any of your original clip. So let's see where this ended. So it's right around here. So it's almost to the minute 40 second mark. So now let's go over to the second function and it's overwrite. Now this one looks like it's the same as insert, but the only thing is here, it directly overwrites whatever is there in that portion of the original clip. So basically it cuts off whatever is here and unlike the original insert, it doesn't preserve the entirety of the original clip. So that's the overwrite. So now we go over to replace. So in order for me to do this, I'm going to make sure that there's already a clip in the middle of the original. So I accidentally deleted that. So let me go ahead and insert one right here in the middle. So you see how easy this is in action if you needed to do that. So now we'll go ahead and add another clip by using replace. And wherever this playhead is at, that's where it's going to add our clip. Now this might look very similar to the insert and overwrite. But there is a difference. So let me show you what I mean. So if I actually brought down this entire clip, you'll notice that it's actually longer in its original form versus the whole replace. So this is where we have the difference between the overwrite insert. So I'm going to undo this. So now let's look at this when you do insert. So when you do an insert, it puts in the entire clip, as you can see there. And if we do overwrite, it also puts in the entire clip. So the difference here we replace is it just put it in to fill in this portion, but it won't extend past what the original clip position or size is or timing. So if you notice, this is where this entire clip began and ended. And so whenever you use replace, it will not extend beyond that. Okay, and obviously if you had your playhead earlier at the beginning, you're going to get more of that clip that you're replacing it with. But that's the big difference between using replace versus insert and overwrite. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the next option works very similar to replace, but in this case, it's actually going to fill this entire space. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So we'll go ahead and choose this again. And I'm going to just move it above here. But now we're going to choose fit to fill. So what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that clip fits in to this entire clip that you just now replace. 
And so this is the actual length of the original clip that you replace. And now we have this new one. And what DaVinci Resolve will do is it's going to adjust the speed of this clip to make sure it fits. So for example, if you look down here, there is a time symbol. And if you choose a clip and right click on your mouse and choose read time controls, you see that it's either going to speed up the clip or decrease it so that it could actually fit into this length. So in this case, it actually sped it up to 110% because this original clip is actually much longer than the length of the clip that you just replaced. So if you watch this, it's going to move a lot faster because it is sped up. But what if you have a case where the clip itself that you're replacing this one with is shorter? Well, in that case, what DaVinci Resolve is going to do is it's going to actually slow this down. So if we look at the read time controls again. This one is going at 81% of its original speed. So that's a real handy feature to have to replace an existing clip with other clips, even if they are different lengths. And so now let's look at the next one. And this one is place on top. This one's really self-explanatory. So wherever you have your playhead, it's going to place the new clip on the top and the bottom. So that makes it really easy if you want to add other clips to your various tracks. Next, we have a pen to at end. Very easy to understand as well. So it just appends a clip at the end, which you probably can do a lot. And then finally, we have ripple overwrite. So this one's really nice to use because it does a few things. So if I put this clip right here, what it does is it's going to either extend the clip to make sure it fits. And so this is very similar to the overwrite you had before. But the difference here is that if your clip is shorter, it's going to delete the spaces in between. So this clip was shorter. So if I drag this down here and do ripper overwrite. You see deleted any space that would have been there if you didn't do that. And so these are all these additional features that we have right here. These are really great when you are adding clips to your timeline and tracks, and it just makes it super easy, and it allows you to save a lot of time, especially if you're going to be working with a lot of clips in your projects. And the cut page also has some additional clip options as well, and I do go over that in another tutorial that I did about the cut page, so if you want to see that, I'll leave that in the description area below. And if you actually had any thoughts on how to do this or any other features that you think would be very helpful, especially for beginners, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.